Hi everybody. I just wanted to share a little video with everybody regarding the Honda 2022 PCX. I'm not going to go over all the technical qualifications and things like that. Um, there are lots of videos on the internet uh, with all that stuff. I've probably watched them all, both in English and uh, and all the videos from the Philippines as well. But um, what I do want to talk about is some of the things in case you're interested in in trying to decide if you want to buy one or maybe buy the Honda ADV, um, at least to give you uh, my to share with you my experience. So um, I used to own a 2006 Honda, or I'm sorry, Yamaha Roadstar 1700. It was just a screamer of a bike and I loved it, but it was really heavy and big and I had some health complications. I wasn't able to ride it. And so I sold it. That truck in the background is what I use to haul my horses. And it's a diesel. It's a wonderful truck for doing what it's designed to do. It's not designed to get good gas mileage. And uh, gas is killing me right now, especially diesel. And so after I sold my bike, I decided to start looking for a scooter. And I saw this new Honda 2022 and I thought, wow, that is a really cool looking Honda. Um, so what have I discovered? Well, let me share with you um, some of the things that, that I have dis discovered that I like and uh, not so much. First of all, the version in the United States comes with this little key right here and what they've done is designed a anti-theft mechanism here so that when you take your key out there is this piece of metal that closes over the key entry so you couldn't you know shove a screwdriver in there and force it to start so in order to access that, you have to put this little hex button part on your key into this little slot and push and turn. And then that opens up the key slot and you can turn it on. Your steering column in uh, typical format does have to be to the side. As you can see, I only have 46 miles, and uh, right now I'm getting 87.6 miles per gallon. I've been taking it pretty easy so far, because um, I, you know, for the first 500 miles you're supposed to warm up. Um, as you can see, the the windshield here is um, really just for looks. It does absolutely nothing to stop the air uh, from hitting your face. And given that you can do, you can do, I've done 65 miles per hour on this easily right now. I haven't really tried opening it up to see if it'll do 70. Frankly, I'm not sure I'd want to do 70 on this. The wheels are real small and it's real light. I don't intend to take this out on the freeway. Uh, it is legal to do that because it's over 150 cc's. But frankly, if you want to go on the freeway a lot, don't buy this. Buy something bigger. Okay? But for getting around town, uh, man, this thing is fun. It is really fun. I am not used... It's small. It's a scooter. And when you look at all the videos um, online, they... Uh, they kind of give the impression, right? Ooh, look at that, that's a sport bike. Well, it, yeah, it kind of looks like that, but um, it isn't. It's a scooter. Now, the headlights have you seen before, you know, they're really cool. Um, and uh, overall, I mean, the, I get lots of compliments. Um, it's a great looking bike. It is zippy. I, I get on it. Um, here in California, it's legal 
to split lanes. And so, you know, I come up to a red light and I split lanes. I love the, the lighting in the back. I think that looks really cool. And, um, and there, you know, you can see them nicely. But anyways, uh, it's got plenty of zip to jump out in front of, of cars. And, you know, I get it going up to 3540 before any cars ever start to, you know, catch up to me if I want to. Um, it is not like riding my motorcycle. Um, you do not get a rush of adrenaline, you know, popping <laughs> the clutch and hammering the, the accelerator. That just doesn't happen. Um, but it's fun. It's fun. It does not weigh very much at all. And, um, you know, that was a little bit of a concern for me, given my health issues. And uh, it's just, it's a really, it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. So, and I've said that about what, 30 times now? Um, I went ahead and originally I put a deposit down on the non ABS version. And then I found out that another dealer about two hours away had an ABS version in. And so I actually rented a little motorcycle, a U-Haul motorcycle trailer and uh, drove out and picked this one up just because I wanted the ABS. Um, it, as you know, it doesn't have a disc bra brake in the back. It has drum ba brakes. Um, I have absolutely zero problems uh, braking and braking hard. I, I've done that and uh, this thing breaks very quickly. It also turns on a dime. I mean, you can literally just about turn around on the sidewalk, uh, which I've done a couple of times. Um, so anyways, um, I looked at the ADV and um, some people, you know, said that the shocks on this are, are not as good as the shocks on the ADV. And while I would probably agree with that, um, these are certainly more than adequate for all the around town riding that I do. I do not plan on ever going off road or, you know, I'm just scooting around town. This is now gonna be my main form of transportation to get to and from work. And um, I'm pretty happy that I got it because um, uh, you know, some people say they're getting up to 100 miles per gallon. And um, so that's, that's really enticing. This is what it looks like with the brights on. As you can see, it puts out a lot of light. Okay, so here's an example of how quickly it accelerates. So in one city block, I got it up to about 43 miles an hour there. Is that correct? So um, you certainly would have no problems accelerating out of way from other cars at a light if you want to. Couple other comments. Um, I, I liked the dash better on the PCX than on the ADV. Um, but frankly, the screen is not bigger on the PCX, although it kind of looks like that from all the pictures that I saw. Um, however, it's very easy to read, as you can tell. And one thing that I really do like are the turn signals 
are so big and bright and green that it really is, you know, you don't forget them on once you've turned them on. And, and that's kind of nice because it, it really is easy on a motorcycle after you turn sometimes to forget. Um, another thing that I really like about the PCX is that it's super easy to stand up on the center stand. My, my motorcycle was really heavy and, and hard to get up on the center stand. Um, this is just super easy. And um, as you can see, I've got it up on the center stand and it does not take any strength at all. The bike is super well balanced. Um, some people have commented about the paint job. The paint glistens. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, but I am waiting to get a highway uh, wind screen in. Um, they're sold out right now. Um, I want to have a little bit more protection. And so I'm ordering an aftermarket windscreen for this that's about 10 inches higher. The mirrors, I'm only five feet, eight inches tall. And the mirrors are fine for me, but if I were taller, I might want to purchase some aftermarket mirrors that, that fit better. Um, also, just to give you an idea of seat height, uh, as I said, I'm 5'8", and my heels do not hit the ground um, unless I'm in my cowboy boots. Then they do. Uh, now, that doesn't bother me. I certainly have no problems with my the balls of my feet on the ground. Um, but if you want to, you know, rest your foot flat, you probably need to be 5'9", five, 5'10", five, minimum height. So... Those are my impressions of the Honda PCX. Love it.